Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, my name is Sheena and I'm an illustrator and bullet journal enthusiast based in New York City. So as you can tell by the title, we'll be doing a no BS review on a $10 bullet journal that I randomly found on Amazon. I haven't even opened it yet because I wanted you guys to get my true reaction on camera. So if you enjoy videos like this and appreciate no BS reviews, be sure to give me a thumbs up and without further ado, let's jump in. I know that I've been on YouTube specifically doing bullet journal videos for over three years now. So I am what you can call an OG in the bullet journal world. So I want to share with you guys previous journals that I've used and their price points just so you have something to compare this against. Okay, so let's start with the Moleskine soft cover dot grid bullet journal. I used this one like way back in the day. It was one of the first ones that I ever used. I do think it's pretty good quality. It's very lightweight, so great to carry around. And I use this one specifically for school. I would say on a scale from one to 10, this journal is about an eight. So next up on the list is a bullet journal that so many of us use, but barely any of us can pronounce, and it is the Loistrum 1917 Dot Grid. I feel like this is a staple in the bullet journal community just because it's right in that sweet spot when it comes to price points, and it's super good quality. Definitely one of my favorites. I've used this one at least two or three times. I've repurchased it, and like I said, one of my faves. So I would say I rate this one at about a nine. And like I mentioned, it is around the price point of $20. And then now we are moving on to the most expensive bullet journal and still one of my favorites and the one I'm currently using, which is the Archer and Olive hardcover dot grid. And I don't have a lot of bad things to say about this one. You guys know for the past year, this has been a staple. I had never used this brand previously, but I'm glad that I have found it. The paper is super, super thick cardstock. You don't get much ghosting at all in between pages. And I just love the overall feel of it. It's just very good quality you can tell that it is well made so as most of you know with great quality usually comes a high price point so the archer and olive comes in at a whopping $30 so it's definitely an investment piece and we are now in November and I am basically down to my last I want to say five pages or so so I definitely want to finish this one out but I have a strong feeling I will not have space for the month of December hence why I wanted to review a new journal so now moving on to the journal that we are reviewing today, which I randomly found on Amazon, and this is it. I haven't even opened it yet. It is not sponsored at all. I literally just found this, and it had really good reviews, so I purchased it. So this particular journal is made by a company, and I'm reading directly off their site. Uh, it's made by a company called You Are Shine. The name is kind of weird, whatever. It comes in at $10.39. I found it on Amazon and out of a thousand reviews, it had five stars. So I'm hoping that we are not disappointed today. So let's go ahead and open it up. Okay, so here is the journal. I will say off the bat, it doesn't feel super cheap or anything. The spine area is a little weird because it's kind of like smushy. I can't describe it. Like it wasn't super tightly bound, but that's not really a problem. Uh, so once you open it up, you have the typical like if found intro page here. And then it also has a tie, an elastic tie and a page ribbon. So they do have this card in the back. It looks like a warranty card. So if you are not happy with it at all, they'll refund you, which is pretty cool. Now, I would say overall, the pages feel really good. It just kind of feels like a typical bullet journal, to be honest. It's almost like right between what a Moleskine would feel like and a Loistrum. So not bad. Just from putting my hand underneath the page, you can see a bit of ghosting. Um, so I have a feeling you will see bleed through, but I don't expect like super amazing cardstock quality from a $10 random bullet journal off of Amazon. So now let's go ahead and do an ink test because that's what really matters, right? So let's flip to the back here on a random page. All right, so here are my test pens. I'm not gonna go super crazy. I'm just using pens that I normally use in my bullet journal process. So the first one we have here is the Pilot Fineliner. This one tends to bleed quite a bit, so I expect for this one to bleed right through this page. 
All right, so I wrote it out there and let's take a look at the back. Um, wow, it's actually not as bad as I thought. Okay, um, let me do a little bit more ink. Wow, still not terrible. Like, there it is, and you can barely see it. So, okay, okay, not too bad. So next we're gonna try out the good old Pilot G2. This is like my go-to pen, so I expect this to not bleed, but you never know. Let's see. Yeah, still not bad. So there's a square, there's my name, and you're not seeing too much of it. Now, if I come up really close, of course, you can kind of see it, but still not terrible. Okay, and last but not least, we are going to use the Tombow Fudanescu. I may be saying that wrong, um, but this is like the felt tip pen that I use to do most of my calligraphy and also like the blacked out spaces. So I expect this to bleed all the way through. So there it is, and again, not a super heavy bleed. I am quite surprised, as you guys can tell. I expected these pages to feel like tissue paper, so I am actually quite blown away. And I'm gonna give you another close-up, and there you have it. So all three pens, and that is the average amount of ghosting or bleed that you're going to get. So I would say overall, I am pleasantly surprised. The journal just seems like really good quality for 10 bucks. As always, I will have it linked so you guys can go ahead and click and get it if you would like to. Maybe this can be your 2020 journal. I really hope you guys enjoyed this quick, straight to the point video about this $10 bullet journal. And if you have any questions about it, be sure to ask me below. I'll be more than happy to help you out. And I hope this video was helpful and gave you an affordable solution if you're someone who is starting out with bullet journaling and don't wanna break the bank. So thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you truly enjoyed this content and I will see you in the next one. Bye.